Recently, we posted a 30 second transformation clip that detailed the comparison of my heaviest squat at my first meet in 2012 and my heaviest squat at my most recent IPF Worlds in 2022. This little clip has blown up beyond the view count of anything that we've ever done before. So I wanted to take a couple minutes and respond to it. The first thing you'll notice between these two videos is that uh, obviously I've gained some weight. I gained about 35 kilos. Ironically enough, I was cutting for the first competition, but from my second meet onward, which was about six months later, I've been in essentially a slow bulk, more or less, for the duration of that time, and that's 496 weeks. So if we look at the rate of gain in body weight, we're looking at about 0 0.07 kilos, or 0.1 pound per week. Obviously, wasn't linear, these things never are, but just bear with me for the sake of argument here. At my first meet, my heaviest squat was 197.5 kilos or 435 pounds. At the second meet shown, my current best squat to date in competition, 317.5 kilos or 699.9 pounds. So between those two squats, we're looking at a difference of 520 weeks. Not pictured in the transformation video was the fact that I hit a 315 kilo squat in 2016 and that it took me six years to add 2.5 kilos to that. Nor did we have time to show the hip injury that held my squat hostage for that entire time and prevented all progress. Another difference that's pretty plain to see between 2012 and 2022 is a pretty drastic improvement in my technique. And again, some napkin math involved here, but that's due to about 17,850 reps of squats and squat-like movements. Now I promise I will get to my point. My point is that 10 years is a long ass time and that transformation happened slow as hell. It's really wild for me to see those two clips back to back within 30 seconds. And I think that's why it was really impactful and why it resonated with so many people. But I want to outline the secret to my magic success. And that is consistency and time. There is undoubtedly a genetic component to strength. But the single biggest reason that this transformation took place is just because I stuck with it. If you want to accomplish something like this, if you want to make this kind of transformation, then the single most magical thing that you can apply to your journey is commitment over the long term. Making progress with lifting or transforming your body is a war of attrition. It's adding 0.2 kilos per week, but only when you even out all of the peaks and valleys. It's understanding that you only see the big changes and can recognize them after years and years and years of doing the thing. And it's just doing the damn thing. We made a video years ago titled, There Are No Sexy Answers to Getting Stronger. And it feels relevant to reference that and look back. And, and maybe I've even changed my mind. Maybe there is a sexy answer. The thing is, it might not be that attractive to everyone because the answer is just commitment, consistency, and a whole lot of time.